Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and this is Disclosure, coming to you from the frozen plains of sunny western New York State, south of Rochester, north of Hell, in Science Valley. And we're going to take a look at some obvious buildings on Mars. This is from uh, Google Earth. So let's get started. The primary objects here are what we see what we're seeing here. I don't know if these are craft or whether these are buildings. I'm uh, leaving it open uh, for craft. Took a sip of my coffee. Uh, uh, I'm kind of divided on whether we're seeing craft or buildings. Well, whatever this is, uh, it's not natural. Now, I uh, tried going on, I took one picture of the area and tried adjusting the lighting, and I didn't really get anywhere on that. So, we're just going to go with Google Earth on this video. This, obviously, we're seeing buildings. If you can't see this, and you know, check yourself in, because I'm getting tired of these people who sit here and deny everything. We're obviously seeing either buildings or some kind of craft, probably buildings. I give it 80-20 in favor of buildings, because they don't really match craft. You have the white roofs, and really can't see any support structure underneath them. Mars has something like 0.38 times uh, Earth gravity, so it could be that they don't need as much in the way of support structures as we do here on Earth. Mars is, of course, a lot smaller than Earth. Okay. So we'll take one more look around this. Give me a 3D view, and then we'll go to the next thing. If my computer will cooperate. I'm wondering if these are buildings or possibly even hollowed out areas. But if I may draw our little arrow here, this thing definitely looks artificial. Well, area, that's artificial all the way, but I don't know whether they dug something out or whether. It was just uh, howled up, you know, or whether it was built. All right, we got more to show than this, so I'm going to take off the arrow, and we will go from here. Take a look around. Here's the next thing I want to show. Clean this altitude. Viewing altitude's about uh, 10 kilometers, so I don't know what that is in real units. I don't have a conversion with me right now. Real units meaning miles. This is a little curious. It looks like uh, somebody built something underneath. Here, once again, not natural by any stretch of the imagination. But the only thing is, there are natural things in the photo, like the plants. Well, that's another story. Now I'm looking at this crater rim, possibly something on top of there. Can't really tell.
Well, let's look at some of these other things here. Now, notice... I'm going to show you the direction of the, um... Shadows. That's the direction of the shadows, approximately. The arrow, so keep that in mind. Basically, from the east. The sun, from, sun is from the east. Wow, what a concept this morning. So, we have more of these rectangular things. You see something like this casts a shadow, and the shadow matches the object, which means this sticks up. Either it's sticking up, or it was moved to uncover a hole. I don't know which. We have a whole bunch of these, and I'm thinking they were designed by somebody. They're not natural. I mean, one might be, one I might let slide but when you have the same thing, like mildest or something sticking up. That I can't let slide. We have them all over the place. And again, we'll bring out the drawing tool. We have something that looks like a craft here. UFO, perhaps. I'm not sure. Uh, it's probably sitting on the ground. Cast a shadow, though. So it's real. And another right in the center of your screen. These are all highly curious objects. And most of them are not natural. I'm going to get to the vegetation, by the way. I will uh, take a look at that. You can see some of it here. What kind of vegetation this is, I don't know. This, I'm thinking it probably would not very closely resemble earth vegetation. Well, that's what it is. I'm not seeing sand dunes, people. Now, here's a curious structure that has uh, some vegetation on it and some other stuff. And it looks like there's some kind of a grid here. Let's take a photo of that and take a look at it. Okay, uh, here you go. We can clearly see there's something artificial underneath here. This is not a photographic anomaly. Uh, you do have to kind of watch out for anomalies because there are some. This isn't one of them. You don't have, it's like pixelation and things of that nature. I don't see any evidence of that here. And you have data dropouts because information has to go a long ways over uh, through space to the Earth. And you just tend to lose some data on that. You see some of the lander photos and you see a square taken out of the sky. That's what that is. It's called a data dropout. That's why you got to be very careful about seeing the word UFO. Because of those. So there is an artificial aspect to this. And we're going to go back to Google Earth. Well, here's that other photo I took. Try bringing up shadows. To be honest with you, I don't see anything interesting uh, with this photo, so other than we can see the buildings around the rim of the crater, all right angles, they're buildings. They're kind of looking over the crater, plus one on the right side. 
That's all the photo I took that I mentioned. Adjusting and didn't, really didn't show that much, so. And again, let's take a look. Let's go down to ground level and look at this and see what we can see. And it kind of looks like Mulder building. A lot of these, I think, are just uh, ruins. I don't think they're active buildings in many cases. A lot of ruins on that planet. Obviously so. Here's that area. You can see the rectangular stuff beneath it. So there's no question. There's artificial stuff all over that planet. Well, your government won't admit to it. You gotta ask yourself why they keep part of the expression bullshitting us. I'm not bullshitting you. I'm trying to show you what's there. Whether you believe it or not, it's your business. And we'll go over here. Here we have obvious more obvious vegetation. Well, it's the same thing. So there's artificial stuff all through this photo. Well, some of it may be an optical illusion. Now look at this. Uh, east is to the west, uh, to my left, I mean, and you have this object sitting here, which means that can't be a shadow because the sun's coming in from the east. So we got ourselves a problem, like this thing is well up off the ground. We'll try to, uh, take a look at it and see what we can find. It's more or less of a hole, and it kind of looks to me like this thing has been moved. And I found this to be a typical pattern in photos. You know, we're, we're led to believe that these are all impact craters, and they don't appear to be. So we'll move this around a little bit just for kicks and see what we can see. See, this is like a lid. fits on the hole on the ground. I don't understand what's going on with that fully. And if you look sharp, if you look sharp, there's a little building there. Oops. You really gotta look sharp to get that. Coordinates are three degrees. North, uh, three degrees south, actually, not north. Three degrees south, 56 west. You want the coordinates. So there we have a very small building. You got to be really sharp eyed to see it. Anyway. And there's more like this. These are those enigmatic type things that I speculate could be clouds, but I don't see how they could be, actually. On second thought. Just common sense to tell you this is all wrong. If nothing else, just use your common sense to look at this. 
there isn't any question that we're seeing vegetation. There isn't any question that we're seeing buildings. The only question is, why is NASA not trumpeting this uh, to the public? It's because they don't want you to know about it. I'm a nobody, so they can just ignore me. But there have been people who've spoken out, and they portray them as kooks and nutcases, you know, people with credentials. So there's no way to win other than to continue harping on them and eventually force them to admit the, that there is this stuff. Look at the vegetation. This is pretty thick and obvious here. Now you can go ahead and use this video. Use my disclosure videos. I don't care. Take them. Use them. Don't worry about copyright. There isn't any. I'm just trying to show you what's there. You can take it or leave it. Believe it or not. Whatever. But I think in light of all the evidence, you really don't have any choice but to believe. If you look at these areas critically, I don't know about that one spotlights area they showed. That one's a little questionable. But I've shown more than enough evidence right here to conclude that there are aliens on this uh, planet, or at least there were, and that they built things. I've actually thought, I actually thought for the longest time that Mars was inhabited. But seeing the photos, and now uh, Google Earth has... Yeah, it sealed it for me. I'm I have no doubt of anything anymore. People say they see c cities on Mars. I'm not arguing with any of them. I'm not going to debate any of them on it because <laughs> I can't disagree with them. I see this stuff for myself. I got my own methodology, but anyway, it's enough about me. You're being deceived, you're being lied to. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. Remember, you're being deceived and lied to about Mars and about a great many things. This is Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching and get out there and tell people. I don't know what else to say other than get out there and tell people that Mars is alive and it has structures on it. Have a nice day.